Okay, so salam alaikum and welcome to my channel. Now, this is my very last video for the Kaida, and I'll be reading the very last one, which is the Surat al class Surat al Falak, and Surat al Nas. You know, one time I was working in my university, and um, this group of people come to me and like, you know, and, and you know, my when I went to uh, my madrasa and we my my was all about like all this uh, women power because we we knew we are like very we're always talking anyway, like the the girls anyway. So it's like oh, like because because when you talk about like oh, um, there are some chapters in the Quran and. and and chapters in the Quran and like how 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 one part of them the circle is being favored than the other and one time I was would be like oh um well they probably in my case there was, there was like the research on the side which means um the woman and it's actually it's dedicated and you know I've always feel like this surah is dedicated to the woman for us the women it doesn't this doesn't say like uh the women as in like muslim women it just says surah al nisa the women you get what i'm saying and there is no surah that like was dedicated for the men except like surah al anbiya which talk about the prophets not the men i mean there is the men and then there are the prophets So and it's sad. So I was, uh, I mean, it's kind of like what some of my, of my stars, of my teachers would say. They like, go oh, look, you women are very, very well favored and well talked about in the Quran. That's you even dedicated a chapter, which is certain Nisa, and it's the fourth, um, fourth surah, uh, fourth ayah. <laughs> foot surah sorry with 176 verses and like yeah and you know you know, I, you might say that i'm just talking like this or out look out like this because well i'm an african i probably don't have like all those oppression or oppressive um uncles and like daddies or brothers in my family which in true which in the in in, in hardness way i don't but yeah you know we all have those we me, we all we me, we experience oppression in a different way so i might not be oppressed to wear hijab or to even pray or <laughs> to go to school or anything like that but you know live your oppression aside and like but yeah but yes so it, um the with talks about this i mean like yeah i might get like people that come and say like you you who give you this reason to say this you know i'm talking up i'm talking about this for me from the way that i have been raised and that i've been brought and that i know and that i understand and from an african perspective and from a nigerian perspective and don't forget from the yoga perspective as well because if you go to the northern side the Alsa people that are very closely related to the Arabs anyway, they might have a different um, story for you. But this is my story. So bear with me. I know I've always, when I came here and then I was like, oh my goodness, this is uh, like, learning about um, terrorism, like, like, you know, I think you need to put to a note. They will probably understand you there because I <laughs> Because, because honestly, I mean, like, I, um, um, we, I mean, we don't, in, from my area, and we don't, the religion is, it, 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 Islam, and the, the aspect of them praying, Ramadan, they, we abide to all of it. I mean, if you're talking about, like, the pillars of Islam, believe in Allah, believe in the last day, believe in the prophets, believe in, go to Hajj, Zak, pay Zakah and do Ramadan. 
and that is that is what is this what it is about and you follow that you pay charity and all that but if you go to the people that you're like oh yeah islam came out from us we own islam we do this and then you know you yeah i guess you have to like be with them to know or to anyways in that sense anyway to because i always feel like maybe they feel like oh because this land like i mean if god wants it would have say like oh let me choose a black person to be muhammad and you know what you go say muhammad couldn't be black anyway I mean, who said Mary? I'm going to be black. Because I always, I always get all these um thoughts, all these opinions that oh, um, but Mary is a person. Well, who knows? Maybe Mary is the Moors. Maybe is the black Moorish Arab. Who knows? Like, you know, you know, and when I came here, and then I could, I really could understand the. Arabs is superior, it's even like where that was coming from. It's like, oh, I'm out of here <laughs> because no, no, I, 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 I couldn't stay in that environment. It's like, bye bye. I could not stay in that environment. Well, like, no, we're not doing it. No, 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 no. But yeah, but because I, I do get that vibe, um, especially when we come back. But if, and you know, it's not even, I mean, it's not even from the men alone. It's like from the women as well. Especially if you're like an Arab, if you're, if you're an African, um, kind of sister. I mean, like you, you probably don't look Arab, or like you don't look say a certain way to be referred or to be like called into these circles, like. <laughs> Anyways, you know what? I think I'm going to. I, I, I'm going. I, I like it. thanks. You know, I think I understand this. You know what my time I do. <laughs> so like honestly, that's it. And you know what? And even like if you in, sometimes you can even see this in like in, like all the the northern Nigerians like. Bye. Like it's so weird. I like I mean like you know when you talk when when I come here and you get exposed to like ideas and like racism and race and and Aryan Ary Aryan race Caucasian and the black more. <laughs> it makes me it makes me really sad. I mean like but what what are you to do? I'm only supposed to go into a class or into your room and like study or pray and then I'm out of there there is nothing there's nothing that should occur there's that you come that you come into say say or oh, yeah like we don't have to I mean I guess it's 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 okay and it's love to regard each other as sisters and to argue each other and to but like when it comes to like um, I don't know. I'm feeling a bit like, <laughs> please. But anyways, but I mean, everyone would say with the, with the experience and everything like that. So I and you know, I mean, who are you to judge people? And anyway? I mean, who am I to judge? people and how like they treat and how I always be I I am being reacted to is that what I should say who am I to me I mean I can call them up to it and like uh, but other than that I and mean, and it's a messy talk and it's head editing and you know sometimes you don't have any anything to say to it no i don't and you know like it, and if you dive dead in depth into this like i can't sorry it's a waste of time but yeah if i have a very couple of time i could talk about it on the video and like you know 
maybe because I because if I want to be like how I think there's oh you know I don't think the problem is me. Actually, the problem cannot be me. Maybe you should check. Yeah. I mean, we could all share the blame like one way or the other. But without further ado, I'll start my very last video within the surahs, the three surahs that is left. And I'll start this by and by um, by reading the dua that I read when I actually had done my Olima when I was in 2005 and that was when I turned 11 years old I was yeah I returned 11 years old that was, yeah that was in 2005 and it was like it was the very day of the Nigerian independence because my class was so big there were maybe I, I guess maybe there are like about 24 of us girls like about the same as a men maybe about 20 and then we had to choose like sunday or saturday and i chose saturday and which was the october 1st of 2005 and that was when i got my walima certificate and it was a beautiful day you trust me he leave everything aside it was a beautiful thing the people were so nice I got, I was given a lot of money actually made a probably like a few thousand there and people give you gifts and they pray for you and they ask you to pray for them and yeah So I'll I'll begin by reading the dua because when we when we were going to because it's a big celebration ceremony because um I mean, it's like any um any any graduation it's uh, it's part of your graduation sorry I call it Wadima it's uh, and then they set up the tents they call your families and everything and then like you read. Um, you read as like sign of completion and then they call you to come get your certificates and you know I remember that day because um, I got my certificates and then we you know we had like our final exams too and I had gotten like 14 and I believe we were about 45 or four, about 40 in the class or something like that so I, I came 14th position which was good and because my friend, my closer friend that was with me in the class got a 15 and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I was one, one uh, position ahead and that was, so that was good. Mm -hmm. So, so that was awesome. That was really awesome. So um, what what do I say? Oh, okay. So we had we we were to like read a read some dua in like a certain way, certain voice, and then after we read the dua, then we we started with Surat al Fatiha, and then after we started with Surat al Fatiha, we and finished Surat al Fatiha, we go on and read Surah Al-Baqarah and we're not reading the entire Surah Al-Baqarah mind you we only read the first five Surah and we are done the graduation and then they sing to you and then they give you gifts and you know that day because you know how like the Nigerian party so they when when they call me and my family got up and everyone to spray me money so they pray me money and they give me like this pulley back to like you know collect the money so i was like you know so they would just pay me money and then i won't take anything from me so i put my hand in the in the poly bag i was going to take out some money so but then i remember when when we were practicing for the graduation it's like now i want to ask you don't do not go ahead and like put your hand in the poly bag to so like take it out. why but i want to because i remember when my sister did hers she she went on and like pick all the money and like put it in your back 
then get it. So I was going through this everything, but then I was like, you know, let me just take my hand and I just quickly take my hand off. And you know, we all dressed up that day because we had, we had to like, um, we had to wear our hijab. Our, and it was a brown color because we have uniform, brown uniform hijab. And, and you know, actually when I was coming here, I brought the hijab. You know, because when I was coming here, I was like, pick some stuff to get out. I picked some books. I pick some, I pick one of this thing that I, one list that I wrote my friend's names, well, my classmates' names actually on there, and I, I picked the hijab, I think it was like the hijab that I picked, I didn't pick the, the gown, so I, and when I came here, and we were in grade 12, so I, I painted the, I brought, I took the hijab just when I painted it. You know, it's not like taking a good mind that, oh, this is you, Aisha, right? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and read the, the dua. I, I could never forget it, because we were, we were asked to memorize it. See, I was a bit like, I'm shaitan ar-rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammadin wa salli. Allahumma aftalina kitabaka wa sunnata nabiyika sahira wa batina. Wa rizukna biyama labi ima bisatika al-mukodjas. Ya Rabbi sinni ilma wa fama ya kashifa al-mushkilat. Wa ya ngalima li afayat. Ikshif al-wujiba mwaji fi azim wa'ani. Hatta atola ala kikoti azim nasayil. Wa afadni yani lata wa dalal. Wanta al-muafiku liku yushin. Wanta Allah muliku yuf. Faiza kiri al-Quran. Faste miola wa ansitun. Laan lakum turhamun. Uzubillahi mina shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Surat alayhi khalas. Makiya wa ayatu wa arba. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kulu Allah wa had. Allah wa samad. Lam yalad wa lam yulad, wa lam yakun lahu kufu an haad. Amuzu billahi mina shaitan al-rajim. Surat al-falak. Makiya wa ayatu wa hans. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kul amuzu brobi falak. Min shari ma khalak. Wa min shari gazikin iza wakad. Wa min shari nafathati fulukad. Wa min shari hasidin isa asad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Surat al-Nas Makiya Wa ayatu wa sitta Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kula awazib rabbi al-Nas Malik al-Nas Ilai al-Nas Min shari al-Wasu wa asrakha al-Nas Al-Lazi wasu wa sufi suduri al-Nas Min al-Jinnati wa al-Nas Allahumma Ijana min al-Muflim and then they sing to us. Ya oni walima, hatu baba oni shahada. Iba nu uja oni koyi, bubu onti e bantoro. Bubu e lulu ayu unashi. Omo kajada, omo kajada, omo ni walima. Omo kajada, opo e fati adada, opo e kasura adada. Opo e sukon adada, opo e kasura ekesi. Munwal Imam Kajaz Banishallah Daware Daware Rasulu Daware Daware Baba Fatima Daware Daware Enyabu Funuwaju Lua Abya Mopa Jagwara Gwara Unishallah Abya Mopa Jagwara Gwara Unishallah Unishallah Daware Daware Rasulu Daware Baba Fatima, the warrior, and the above for the water, Lua, Abia Moto Jago, Unish and Lau, Abia Moto Jago, Lauma, a jar nam nam of him, and that was it, and we finished, and 
we went home and it was fun and it was crazy and I'm so excited I actually got the opportunity to do this because honestly like I said before when I first started I was like oh is it like really cool like posting my my video like oh I want to read the grad and my voice in the internet I was like you know what I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I've been dying to do it and you know I've always and I always kind of perform in front of my group of people like community and anyway, so thank you for coming to this journal with me it's been lovely and I'm glad that I put my hand my I put my mind through it and I finish it and my last comments on like me on Isla honestly it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful religion people are different way with the um, grand tool is it scripture I learned it I read it I graduated it was a beautiful thing I don't know why anyone will want to read my learn my beautiful memories and my beautiful mindset to something else no no I don't accept it I don't I don't I don't I mean I don't. I don't. I don't. It's a beautiful thing to be educated in any language, in any form. And why anybody would want to learn that is is beyond my understanding. I could try to understand it. I could explain it, like from my style, from the culture they're coming from, but. That's all I could say. I mean, I and mean, like as we all know, most of the people that are that end up like paying for it are people that know nothing about it, are completely innocent, have no idea what was going on, and they end up like suffering more. And then you have all these people that be like, oh, we suffer for this, we suffer on this, but you know what? Maybe if you, cause sometimes if you can explain what you suffer from. Yeah, actually, like, actually enlightening people that, oh, this thing happened to me, be safe out there. Wait, this thing happens to me, I'm just saying, I'm not praying for it. I'm not praying that it happens to you, but this thing happens. And just watch out and look out for yourself. And something like that is important. If you educate people on what you suffer from, and maybe in a way or two they learn from it, and then... They won't be a victim of it because maybe you didn't share it but if you can share but and if you cannot share then you cannot share and with that for that you'll say thank you for listening to me for coming to this journey journey because honestly we finished it kind of what else do we have to finish? We just have to read the other 29 Jesu of the Quran and you complete it. And with that, and you know, honestly, I went to, I finished 2005 and I came to Canada three years later and it was when I was doing my Tefsir anyway. And yeah, I was still doing the Tefsir when I was a kid. And yeah. And and you know, I pray and even though I don't I mean during the Ramadan you ask like really read the Quran if you can and I have I mean I always try to read the Quran during Ramadan. Honestly I do. I do. <laughs> I do and even like when I'm praying so I I don't ever forget that. And you honestly, I'm grateful to have to have come to the school and to have read, to have read and to have understand the Quran like in that way, in that sense, that is very enlightening, really. And it's not; it doesn't have any, it doesn't have anything attached to anything negative, negativities attached to it. Unlike how people will come and like say they want to pursue they want to see, see it or perceive it, you understand? 
I mean, if you come here, the Quran and the Muslims are known for different things. And but if you if you go to many other parts of the world, it's known as other things. Okay, so this is anything I want to add? Honestly be safe out there i mean the corona virus the covid 19 is still out there so honestly take care of yourself and thank you for listening to my recitations it's been wonderful I feel like i'm in 2005 again but you know, i'm not in 2005 this is strong journey eyes wide open time ticking Peace out.